the night before Christmas, and if you're spending Christmas Eve with family and friends, why not mix up a special cocktail? The Liquid Muse, Natalie Bovis, has an easy recipe that will add cheer to any party. I even put on an apron for you. I Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I should be wearing an apron. I'm kind of messy sometimes in the kitchen. Well, Natalie, thank you for joining us on this thank very you. special day of the year. So many people watching Aww. us this morning, thinking about the festivities, and we want to know what you're making for us. Well, I'm going to make a traditional punch. Okay, a traditional perfect. punch has five elements. Spirit, of course. Yes. Citrus, little spice, uh -huh. a little sweet, and tea. Really? Yes. Okay, so there's a little something. I never thought about tea in a punch. Right? Well, yes, there is tea in a traditional punch. <laughs> so okay. this is so easy. If you're throwing a party, you're you're going to see what a, 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 a just a walk in the park. Have you had some punch is. already? <laughs> yeah. Not By yet. the way, how did you manage to match the drink to your sweater so perfectly? Well, you know, Nikki, that's just part it's, of what I do. It's part of I, New Mexico I, style. I, I love it. it's New Mexico style. I wanna, I wanna impress your viewers. <laughs> so I just poured fresh lime juice into this just punch plain bowl. Just lime juice. Yes, I okay. squeezed some limes. I did um, about three quarters of a cup of fresh lime juice. Okay. All right. And Natalie so always recommends the real lime, not the kind that you I, buy I, in the little. Fake. I squeezed them all right before mm -hmm. we went on air because it, you, you taste the difference. You really do. You really and you're do. putting the extra care yeah. into it, which your guests will appreciate. It's made with love. So that's our citrus element. Okay. Now I'm going to do the sweet. I'm putting two cups of guava juice. Ooh. Yeah. Where can you Lime get good and guava. Gu Where can you get good guava juice? You know, here? I just buy those cans at the supermarket. Okay. Yeah, or, you know, I mean, that, that works perfectly fine. Also, for the sweet, I'm going to put just about half an ounce of a homemade raspberry syrup. Raspberry tea mixed with sugar. I love syrup. how you don't even have to measure half the things <clears throat> you do because you just know. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like second nature to you. It is indeed. All right, now for the tea. I'm going to put about two cups of tea. Okay. Now for this tea, I combined the tea and spice into one. It's a cardamom tea. Is this unsweetened or sweetened? Unsweetened. Okay. I've already put, yeah, great question. Okay. I put the sweet into the punch. Got so it. I'm putting two cups of that. Okay. And then I'm putting two cups of rum. <laughs> I love the little bling <laughs> on that. So I'm putting about so you can two put, cups. Well, yeah. I guess that's good because it's a whole punch bowl. We're, exactly. we're not talking about a drink. So. Oh no no no, we're talking that about would be drinks a disaster. for about no, no this is going to serve <laughs> about 15 people. My goodness, I I like the it's way the you holidays. think, but I'm not quite no. at your level apparently. No, I'm, believe me. And then for a little extra spice, I'm just putting a tiny bit of ground clove. Nice. Now. Um, with punches, you can do the ice one of two ways. Okay. If, you're, if it's going to be sitting for a long time, just set it out like this and ice the individual glasses. Okay. If it's something that you're serving right away, you can make these wonderful ice those? spheres. Aren't they fabulous? Where do you get the, the well, trays for that? You can buy them. A lot of um, cooking stores will have them. You can okay. also order them online. So Another cool. thing I love to do with these kind of fancy they ice. Like ornaments. They do look uh -huh. like ornaments. Well, something else you can do is you can freeze edible flowers inside. Are you kidding? Yeah. Oh no. In in um in, in the bubbly bride book, I talk about wedding punches. That's right. That's right. And that's and that's something that um that I, I highlighted in that one. Um, also, you can cool. freeze. Uh, like lemonade, you can freeze tonic water, you can freeze all sorts of different things nice. so that as the ice ball melts, it continues to flavor your drink. That's a great idea. So Natalie. these are just plain ones because our, our punch so is pretty. Why, thank you, darling. Our punch is pretty um, tasty as it is. I want to just mention you just said The Bubbly Bride. For those who haven't watched Natalie on the show before, The Bubbly Bride is one of her three <laughs> books, and they're actually great holiday gifts as well. And as you get into Thanks. the new year, if you know anybody who's either getting married, The Bubbly <clears throat> Bride is a great book. If you know someone who just got Pregnant, Pregatinis is a great book, non-alcoholic beverages for those who are not drinking the alcohol. And then there's the new one, there's the edible cocktails. Edible cocktails, it's garden to glass concept. So if you're mm -hmm. looking at farm to table food, garden to glass would be the direct translation into beverages. Exactly. So here's this time. Well, you have to have one with I'll me. I, I was just going to say, I'll, I'll join you in a little Christmas Eve nip. Please do. I mean, this is really great. And you know, I think that's one of the things when people think about the holidays, they think about a celebration on Christmas Eve. And they think, well, we'll have wines, we'll have champagnes. We'll have... But then there's also just that element <coughs> of festivity. And when you think about that, you think about punch. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. one of the things I do at the Liquid Muse, it, which is my website, by the way, um, 
is to try to make mixology easy for people. Yeah. Because people think, oh, cocktails, I've never been a bartender. I don't know how to do that. You saw how easy this is. So true. And, you know, in creating a punch like this, the host is busy with the food, with the guests, with the decorations. You put together a nice punch, and boom, you're ready to go. And by the way, the glasses add a very nice touch. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you got to have some Christmas glasses or something to celebrate the holidays. Thank so you. So cheers to you for well, that. Cheers. I want to also mention that you can find the recipe on our website at mm -hmm. Casa.com, but how can our viewers find other cocktail you know, ideas from you and other recipes? Well, please visit thelookgoodmuse.com. I'd love to have you guys stop by. I have videos, how-to videos, uh, recipes, blog posts, um, videos with Nikki on yes. our, my previous New Mexico style uh, segments. We always so, have fun. Yeah, thank you for having me back. And, you know, Merry Christmas to you Merry guys. Merry Christmas. You I all cheated. work so hard here at New Mexico we style. Do, Another I, great year. But I cheated. I, I had a sip when you went to the little <laughs> bumper. All right, I'll, I'll catch up with you. <laughs> Cheers. Happy holidays. We'll be right back. Mm. Mm.